All right, I'm gonna exp be explaining to you oil pressure switch. This is the reason that your car knows to turn on the, uh, the oil light. It looks like a little oil can. It's red when you lose the oil pressure. And uh, basically, there's a different reason for losing your oil pressure. First and foremost, you know, your, your engine's no good. You lose oil pressure. Second reason uh, the light would come on is if your oil pressure switch is bad. And uh, that's what I intend to show you how to test the switch. In this case, this is really easy to access. This is the front of the engine right here. And uh, it's just right there. We're going to zoom into it. It's a one wire, and it's real simple. It sends a power. It's a single wire. You disconnect it. It's just got this little connector right here. It's got a single wire, and uh, it sends power down here into the switch, and then it goes to a ground. So inside here is basically a switch that's controlled by the oil. When you start the car, the oil produces pressure and pushes open the switch, discontinuing flow, turning the light off. If the oil pressure is gone, then the switch is closed and the light will illuminate because it's a continuous flow. So uh, what we're gonna do real quick, we're just gonna check this switch to see if it's working internally properly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook the test light up. I get the test light hooked up to power right there, okay? And when I touch a ground, and you have a light like that and uh, so I'm gonna show you I got it hooked up to power and then uh, let me see if I let me see if you can see that so basically when I touch the inside you don't want to jam it in there it's gonna the lights gonna illuminate okay so what we're gonna do is start the car and it should go away when you start the car the light and that's going to indicate for us that this pressure switch itself is good. So let's, let's start the car. So, it, so you see it went away as soon as we turn the car off. Let's, let's do that again one more time. Let's see it goes away. One more time, let's do it one more time. Okay, so the oil pressure when it goes away turns light on. We're doing the same thing that the, the, the little light switch does, basically. So the other thing we can check when it comes to this, really, well the first thing you really want to do is uh, you could just take off the uh, take off that and start the engine start the engine and then check for oil coming up through the top and if there's oil squirting up through the top then there's a good chance that you have good oil pressure so that's really how to check the switch and then we want to check the harness side so we want to see if the connection going to you know the computer is good so I want to take this off of there and I want to hook this up to a ground and I'll use the, uh, the battery ground for, in this case right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the accessory on with the, uh, we're going to turn the accessory on in the vehicle, like as if your radio is running. And what I'm going to do is now I'm hooked up to ground. I'm going to go into the harness side over here and I'm going to touch it. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see what's exactly what's gonna happen when 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 you do that. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that test light and I'm gonna touch that connection right there. I'm off of it. I'm on it. I'm off of it. I'm on it. I'm off of it. I'm on it. So 
I'm giving the ground to that illuminating that wire. And my test light's barely lighting up. So it's really as simple as that though, in order to check the uh, pressure sensor. So uh so you saw it. Uh, that's what causes that light to turn on. Uh, some cars they have it near the uh, near the uh, oil filter. They have them in different locations, but that's you would do that pretty much with uh, every car. Now, if a customer comes to you and you ruin their car and you and, and you try to build their engine and you ruin their vehicle and it has no oil and uh, you just want to rip them off, what you do is you disconnect the wire and that's it the light turns off and that's how you rip people off no I'm just playing <laughs> no but I've seen people try to do that in the past um that now that oil pressure that that switch it opens up with about five pounds so you're hitting about 60 pounds so I mean if that light turns on and you really have oil pressure below that um you really do have a problem if your oil pressure is down below that five pounds of pressure so uh, definitely have that checked out uh, do not rip people off it's not a good thing to do <laughs> don't disconnect their sensors but it's cool to be like MacGyver like that right anyways thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe